Hello everyone, I am Angela Steffens, aka Wonder Woman Code, developer advocate and community lead here at Unlock Protocol, and today we're going to be talking about sign-in with Ethereum. And just so you know up front, everything I'm showing you today, you can find links for, including the, the code and the website links in the comments down below. So let's get started. First of all, everything that I'm talking about today, you can find a written tutorial for in our developer docs, which you can get to from our website, unlock-protocol.com, click on the doc devs documentation. And then you're gonna wanna head over to tools and sign in with Ethereum. Here it is. So for those of you who don't already know, sign in with Ethereum doesn't actually have anything to do with the Ethereum blockchain. We're talking about Ethereum wallets, AKA Web3 wallets. And there's a specification EIP 4361 for this. For those of you who are like me and you love to read those little specification documents, you can also find a link to that um, straight from the tutorial. But in, in addition to that, um, we're talking about signing into websites. Those things that normally people would use single sign-on uh, experiences for like Google or Facebook, most websites also have their own sign-in experience. So we're talking about replacing those with signing in with Web3 wallets now so that you only have one way to sign in to hopefully in the future all over, all over the web. So at Unlock Protocol, we created a modal experience to check out and mint your NFTs for people to purchase their membership NFTs. And when you don't pass in information about their your lock to that sign-in experience, instead it just pops up a modal to log in and return some parameters that you can use in your application. So let's see how that works. We're gonna be building a link. That link starts with this endpoint right here. This is an endpoint on the Unlock app. Our, our app does many things, including uh, running the, the dashboard where you can create your locks. Um, in this instance, we're invoking the checkout. We're gonna add parameters for a redirect URI. That's where you want people to land after they've signed in. So this is going to pop up a modal, send them, after they've signed in right back to your website, if that's where you want them to go or wherever else you want them to go and provide you with a bit of information that you can use if you want to. I wrote a little bit of JavaScript so you guys can see how to do that inside your JavaScript application if you want to. And let's take a look at that code. Bam. So first of all, this is that endpoint that we were just talking about. Notice at the end there, I don't have the question mark. That's because when I use this URL, JavaScript adds it in there automatically for, for me. So you don't need it when you add that there. This is the website that you're, you're gonna want to redirect to, that redirect URI. And the client ID that we need for these parameters is actually the host, which is this portion right here here of your re redirect URI. And so you're gonna to need to pass both of those in. JavaScript has an easy way to grab that from the URL so I didn't have to retype it effectively. And to ensure that uh, all you have to do is change this, it'll it'll all happen for you. Here, I'm, I'm just appending this new URL object that I created uh, with search parameters client ID and redirect URI, what our endpoint requires. And then this just prints it to the console. And I'm gonna run that right now so you can see it happen in real time. You can see I did it earlier. Uh, and I'm gonna move my face up here so that's not in the way, but when this link that was created pops out, it's all encoded properly because when you encode for the web, you need to ensure that you're doing things like escaping these characters. 
So you can just click on this here. If I can get it to pop up. Come on, people. Follow the link. And it pops up a handy little modal. I click sign in with Ethereum. It's going to open my MetaMask wallet that I've got in the browser already. I'm going to click sign. That's it. Redirected me straight to unlock website, which is the redirect URI I added in there. It's just that easy. Now, the only other thing that I wanted to mention was when it returns you here, it had some additional parameters at the end of this really long thing and it could go on forever. But I'm gonna show you how to grab those. It's in our tutorial here. So new search URL parameters, all you have to do is pop in the window location and you can actually get those parameters separately and pass them to something like ethers.js where you gonna want that sign in to verify and use something like web3.js or ethers.js. Uh, in addition, the only thing I didn't show you here is we have some additional options for adding metadata at the end. I'm gonna do a separate tutorial on that portion of it, but this is a really easy way for you to switch over to a Web3 login that really doesn't take much work. All you have to do is add that link that you generate onto your website with a button, and then once they land back in, use one of the, the JavaScript libraries like Ethers or Web3.js. So that's it for today, you guys. Make sure you make some comments down below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like about this video. Let me know what you want to see next from us over here at Unlock and because we listen to our community and we love you. We'll see you later.